Hi everyone, welcome back to the Morgan Homestead, day two of the cabin build. So today I'll probably be by myself most of the time. It's supposed to be a little bit hotter today than it was yesterday, but we do have a nice breeze too, so that helps. So I'll just take it slow, safe, and hydrate a lot. So anyway, today hopefully we can get one more course on. Right now I'm just going to be drilling in some of the electrical holes in this course that I didn't get finished yesterday. And then I'll be putting butyl tape down and setting some logs on the wall that has the sliding glass door in. So stick around and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks. Okay, so this butyl tape goes down on the tongues and it's just a, you know, it's like a, a caulking that you put down that helps seal it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this wall here. So I stopped the tape short here because we have a six foot window that goes in there. So we don't need the tape in that section there. And I'll just continue doing that. So I'll start over to the next spot on the other side of the window and then to the doorway and then the other side of the doorway. And then I can go ahead and put my next logs on this wall. So one of the tricks that Ryan said when placing logs by yourself, you place a block in here because you got to set the saddle end first. This end, and then remove the block and set it down.
I just want to snug it down. Try a little bit to get the groove to line up and then bump it. And just keep inching the screw down. Bump it again. Until you get your cracks between the logs tight. Pretty tight on the butt end. And there you have it. Alright, so end of day two. And we didn't get a lot done today as far as stacking logs, but I did get quite a bit done, just uh, things that needed to be done. Like I, I finished all my electrical holes and everything. So all that is good to go. We did get the two end one row of the two end walls done. Um, it, one thing I'm finding out is having to sort through the logs to find the log you need at the time. A lot of it is the logs are on the bottom of the stack, so you have to move all the logs off the top to get to the one you need to use. So that takes some time as well. But we did get quite a bit done as far as what needed to get done. It just doesn't look like it's that much, but I can kind of show you. So over here we did get this row here done on this end. And then on the other 
end wall we got one more row finished up there as well so one thing you got to do and I don't remember if I mentioned this but when you have a butt joint on these logs what they have you do is they have you cut a v-notch out of the end logs both of them and then you fill it with this the spray foam so that it fills in the gaps here and you don't have any airflow through there and it also I mean it's some structure to it it keeps the logs um, from moving in that joint so but anyway End of day two. Tomorrow, maybe we'll get a little bit further done, uh, along. Hopefully, we can get the two side walls done with one row and maybe another row on the end walls. But stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Again, give a thumbs up if you like the video, share it on your social media, and subscribe if you want to get notified of the next video. Goodbye for now.